Welcome to the arithmetic zone and welcome to part two of HTML for our introduction to web design. So what we're going to do is open up Visual Studio Code right here, this icon. And Visual Studio Code automatically opens to the last um, folder you were working on. So I was last working on that CS folder if you watch video one. And as you can see, it opened up all associated files with in the CS folder, including my HTML file and my image, which finally loaded. So we're going to go live using that extension live server that we got in the last video. It's going to open up and we have our document right here. Today, we're going to go over more HTML tags while also sprucing up this website to make the content, you know, a little more specific and intuitive. So before we go over those new HTML tags, let's just make the content in this website, you know, a little more intuitive. So we're going to get rid of all of these header tags because I only put them just to show you uh, what they do. Let's just change H1 to a title. Say why cars are cool. And let's save with control and S so we can view the document. There we go. It updated to just why cars are cool. And for our line breaks, we don't need this many. Let's just only have one. And for our paragraph, you know, let's just get rid of all this sample of our Ipsum text and just write because they are. Because cars are awesome. So go back and well, there you go. The website updated accordingly. So next, I want to move this link, you know, down to a new line. So how can I do that? Well, I can just put a line break in between the image and the A tag, which is just BR. Save. And now it's on the bottom. And let's change that link. Right now, it takes you to google.com. And well, I don't want to do that. I want it to take me to some car website. So let's look one up. I don't know. Let's look up Toyota, their website. All right. It's just toyota.com. Uh, it looks like it's just https colon double slash toyota.com. So I'm just going to change that. Control S and now when I press on it, it's blue and not purple because this is a new link that I haven't visited and as you can see it does work and finally let's change the title of the tab it's still called starter website to do that you go to where it says title in starter.html which would be in the head portion let's just change it to cars forever control S there you go now it says cars forever um we'll go over later how to change this picture but for now let's introduce some basic new html tags first one i want to go over is the footer tag and footer does have a corresponding ending tag as you can see with the slash footer ending tag and the footer basically serves its purpose as like the final text in a document and it's usually used to put in credits or like copyright information so i want to do that right now let's put copyright all the people who love cars and then control s if we view in our document now it looks like it's regular text and that's why you don't really see it used that often but if i put in some line breaks let's say three of them then there should be some more space in between all right now what if I want to put in the copyright symbol I can't really do that in this HTML file because I can only use alphanumeric characters or symbols that you see on the keyboard so in order to put the copyright symbol which is a special character I'm gonna have to look up what's called an HTML entity so let me just go ahead and look that up, HTML entities. And I, I like to go to W3 schools. It's a really useful website for coding. And here's a table of HTML entities to get some special characters. So as you can see, I have less than, greater than, the and sign. What I want is the copyright symbol. It's right here. 
and it looks like the entity name is and copy semicolon. So we're just going to copy that and put it right here in between the footer tags. Save that and it should work. And there you go. We have the copyright symbol. Just add an extra space in there. And perfect. Now, I want to go over lists. So, if you want to begin a list, you would use one of two tags. If you want an ordered list, which I'm going to go over first, you would use OL. So, I'm going to enter here and it's going to indent for me automatically. And here I put in the list items using a new tag LI. So, before I put in the list, let's just give it a name using an H2 tag. And I'm going to call it my favorite cars ranking. And inside of the first list for number one, let's just say Toyota. And then in the second list item for number two, let's say Honda. And then the third one, we could say Ford. I could keep going. Uh, just know this is not my actual ranking. I'm just listing out car company names, all right? But I save, and let's look at the result. Well, I got my title right here with the H2, and I got a list, an ordered list, of car companies. So what if you don't want an ordered list? Then you use a different tag called UL. And then once again, I put in the list items with LI. So let's give this one you know, another name, parts of a car. So, you know, this doesn't have to be ordered. This isn't, a, this is not a ranking or anything like that. So let's just say wheels, hood, windows, trunk. If I save and check out the result, going to give me a list of bullet points that is the default but regardless it gave me an unordered list while this one gave me an ordered list and the key was using ol for the ordered list and ul for the unordered list so now i want to go over how to make sections in your html code using the div tag now this doesn't really have much of a purpose right now but it'll become extremely important in the future especially in the next video which i'm going to cover css so what i would do is let's say i want to make the list their own section i would just put in div and then it gives me the corresponding ending tag and then i would put this ending tag and move it all the way to the bottom so that it includes everything in here now if i were to save it's not going to do anything but like i said Making sections with your code using div is going to be extremely important later on. And I just want you to know what it does right now. So I won't have to explain in the next video. Now for our final tag that I'm going to cover in this video, it is going to be something that you can visually see the difference of right now. And that's going to be making a horizontal line. So let's say I want to separate these lists. I would put in the tag HR, no closing tag, and save. It makes a horizontal line across the whole document between the lists because that's where I put it. And as you can see, it doesn't actually matter how your code is indented. I could press tab on this HR tag right here and save and it's not going to change its position or anything. It's still in the same spot. HTML knows what's inside of what based on the opening and closing tags. So like I could move all this right here to the left by pressing shift tab while highlighting it like that and save that and it's not going to change anything because html knows where each tag begins and where it ends so i'm just going to control z this so that you know it doesn't look bad and save again and again nothing changes now code automatically indents for you on visual studio code just so coders can look at this and see what they're doing while also not getting eye seizures because this is much more pleasant to look at than what we had earlier 
Anyway, that's going to conclude it for this video. In the next introduction to web development video, I'm going to go over CSS. And that's how we're going to make our documents look nice. Because right now, this looks pretty boring. But I think I went over every major important HTML tag that I'm going to be covering in this course and utilizing. And if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. But anyway, I'm going to see you guys later, and I hope you guys have a nice day.